Hey guys, Black Phantom RT, and we're back with another video. All right guys, so for this week's video, I'm actually gonna make a video on the Bluetooth module. As you can see, mine isn't working. That's all it does, it just says, please wait for the hands-free system. Um, my Bluetooth don't even show up. It just stays like that. I can't click on the Bluetooth or anything. So pretty much when you have a problem like this, when it's just saying please wait, your Bluetooth doesn't work, it doesn't want to connect, doesn't do anything anymore, it's your Bluetooth module. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to remove it and replace it because for some reason, even though a lot of people have this problem, there's actually not a good video on how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for y'all. What I do is take this little piece off. You pretty much just grab onto it. It's a little hard with one hand grab onto it you know it has little clips that hold it on and just take it out real simple you see that it has these two little screws pretty much you can use a I think it's a seven millimeter socket but I'd rather or the flathead which I'd rather use a flathead because it's a lot more easier to use and it's quicker to get out so let's go ahead and get the fat head real quick. All right, so you take these two bolts out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and I'll be back. All right guys, and so after you take off those two little screws, pretty much what you do is you grab it from the bottom and just pull on it. And don't be afraid to pull. I know you might be scared if it's your first time because you might be afraid you're gonna break something. Don't be afraid, just pull on it. Then you come to this side and pull on it. And then just let it hang. And so the Bluetooth module is this little piece right here. This little plastic box in there. That's the Bluetooth module. And it has two screws to it. One on each corner. One on the bottom corner and one on the top corner. And so you have to remove those. And then it has two clips, which I'll show y'all here in a little. So let me go ahead and try to get these screws out for y'all real quick. And for those, you can also use the, you can try to use the Phillips screwdriver or a seven millimeter socket, I think. Or if it's not a seven, it's an eight. But I'm gonna go ahead and take those off real quick. And I'll show y'all exactly where they're at. All right guys, so I finally got it out. It took a while, that, that clip right there. As you can see, see these are the two clips. This one is hard to take off. For some reason, this one's harder than the other one. It's, I can't really get it, but it's this clip on top and this bottom clip. And this is the Bluetooth module right here. And that's where the big clip goes in. And here's where the small clip is. It's pretty easy to get off. It's not really that much. Sometimes it might take a while. I don't know. But it shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes. But what I've heard, to get a new Bluetooth module, you do need to get the exact same one for it to work. So if you are looking for a Bluetooth module, make sure it has those same numbers. If not, I've heard it doesn't work. But I don't have one right now because I haven't found one yet. I'm still looking for one. So I just wanted to go ahead and take it off to show y'all how to take it off because I know there's a lot of people who ask, hey, my Bluetooth doesn't work, what do I do and all this. So that's pretty much it and to put it on you just do the steps backwards you take off or put on the clips then you just screw it back in place and after that you just close it up and put the screws back and everything back where it was all right guys so i had a guy came up to me we were talking for a little bit about the car but I forgot to mention these is this is where the screws go that's where one goes and that's where the other one goes right there i think i broke it but i mean it's the old one it doesn't really matter but that's where it goes 
and that's the bottom one. So when it's in there, it's actually in like that. The bottom one, it's easy to get off with the Phillips screwdriver, but for this small one, the Phillips screwdriver really doesn't have enough room in there unless you have a small one. So what I used was this, oh, here it is. This small ratchet with the extension and a seven millimeter socket. And that helps out a lot because my Phillips screwdriver really, really didn't have any space in there. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back real quick. So this is what you do. As you can see right there, has that clip. That clip has to go first before any of them. Just grab it, make sure it goes in over there. And then, oh, I got my trees in the way. And so once that clip is in, all these other ones have to go in and just put it up there. You see how that clip went in right there? And then everything just snaps back on. Just push it in. So you just push it in. And that's pretty much it. And after that, you just put those two screws back, the little panel right there, and it's pretty much done. So let me put that back and we'll end the video. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's video. I just wanted to make a good video with a step-by-step -step process on how to take it off because when I searched it up, there really wasn't a good video for it. So, I went ahead and made my own. That way, I could help out people who have this problem because I know there's a lot of people who actually do have it because I see it be questioned all the time. So, that's pretty much it for this week's video. I have more stuff coming up soon. I should be getting a part installed hopefully next week. I'm still not sure. But I'm not going to say what the part is because that's a surprise. But yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll keep you all posted with more videos. Peace.